Today I'm going to show you how to warp and bend text in Photopea. So I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. One is pretty straightforward, the other one can be a little bit tricky, but we will begin with the easy way first. So I would like to write a calligraphy script inside of these ribbons. So to do that, I'm going to select my typing tool on the left. And anywhere on the screen, I'm going to write out my message. So once your message has been written, you can confirm by pressing the check. And then on the right hand side, you will see our new layer that has our typing in it. We're going to double click on the capital T. And this should highlight our writing. Now at the top left of the screen, we're going to select our font. I would like my font to be in a calligraphy style, so I'm going to uncheck everything and then select only calligraphic. Then I'm going to choose the font I like. Our font should change and then I'm also going to increase the font size. Now if you would like a size larger than 150 pixels, you can definitely do that. You just have to type in the value manually. Okay, then I'm going to confirm take my move tool, moved my text down. Now you might find that the letters are too close together or too far apart. We can actually change that by selecting the character option on the right hand side. It looks like a capital T and a lowercase t. Select tracking and adjust accordingly. And to get rid of it just select the icon again. Now to create a bend effect we need to double click our icon again and we're going to select warp at the top of the screen. Click none, click arc, and adjust the bend. We can even rotate it as needed. Okay, so how about something that has an S curve like my banner above? I'm going to try the same technique, but there's actually a better way to fit the text in something like this. But let's go ahead and give it a shot anyway. And we're going to select warp again. None. And this time we will try flag. This one is going to be a little bit trickier. We can always stretch it out. We can manipulate it, we can rotate, but sometimes these warping tools just won't work with a difficult banner like this. So we're going to try a different way. I'm going to delete this T layer. And instead, I'm going to create a path using my pen tool. So on the left hand side, underneath the T tool, there is an old fashioned pen. Select that. And once you've selected the pen tool, you may need to change shape to path. And you're going to click a path where you would like your letters to be written on top of. So you're going to select single clicks. Then we're going to select the T tool again. Select the first dot and click on it and start writing your message. And you will see it follows along the path. For this one, I definitely do think I will need to space out my letters and increase the size, but because it is still a T layer, we can still adjust the font characters. So we're going to double click the icon, increase the font size, and we can increase the spacing as needed by selecting character again. Tracking. And we can get rid of this window by selecting the character icon again. Select confirm. Move as needed. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we can manipulate letters in Photopea. I hope you found this helpful.